Um, this next song is about how I am from the YouTubes, um, which has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, the main disadvantage being YouTube comments. You know? Um, and YouTube comments are usually really mean. Uh, but the highest compliment that you can pay somebody on YouTube, at least in, in my experience, is telling them that you want to have their babies. <laughs> and, like, and when I get that from dudes, I just assume it's like the sentiment of, I would endure pain in my genitals for hours because I appreciate your talents. <laughs> and that's, that's a compliment, right? I hope so. Um, and this song's not really about that. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's about how um, I would about actually wanting to have somebody's baby, specifically Stephen Fry's baby. Do we know who Stephen Fry is? If only a couple of you know who Stephen Fry is, this is going to be really awkward. Do you know who Stephen Fry is or not? Yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> Good. Because otherwise this is going to be an awkward four minutes for all of us. Um, but I think that he's great. He's a writer, he's, he's just this brilliant, his brain, I don't know how it fits inside his head. Um, but being a homosexual, he can't accidentally have children the way that straight men can, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that can't just happen on accident. And so somebody has to take the initiative to keep him in the gene pool. And, you know, I'm young and female and fertile, I think. And I have a lot of free time, so I figured <laughs> I'm pretty eligible for the position of keeping Stephen Fry in the gene pool. And so this song is called An Open Letter to Stephen Fry. And it's me offering myself up to the cause that I invented. <laughs> Your heart is promised to a man, and so I have no hope to win it. But consider my proposal, sir, if you can find a minute. I think the future of our species would be better with you in it. I know you have your problems, and maybe I have mine. But you should leave someone to carry on when you have turned to dust and plant your genome in an infant. Sir, I think it's only just, and you would need someone to bear this child, a woman you can trust. I'll put my body on the line. Mr. Stephen Fry, I see no reason why you wouldn't think it worthwhile to let me bear your child. You would be amazed what science does these days, so think it over and send along your seed. Thank you. Um, so, 
funny story. Um, through sort of the magic of the internet, about a week after I posted that song on the YouTubes, some people at Harvard were like, hey, uh, we really like your song about Stephen Fry, it's really funny. By the way, we're having him over next week, would you like to come sing the song to him? And I went, ah! and said, like, internet, make this happen, please! And so they were like, we can't, Harvard was like, we can't, you know, put you up. Well, we can put you up in like a dorm, but we can't pay for your flight. But if you can magically get yourself to Cambridge, we can make that happen. And so the internet made that happen, miraculously. And so I got to sing that song to Stephen Fry's face in front of a room full of people. So he had to be nice. <laughs> and he um, and smells really good in person. And uh, he gave a really nice speech. He said no. Um, but it's my understanding that I'm the first in line. <laughs> if Stephen Fry's minions actually show up on my doorstep with like a briefcase and say, it's time, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hopefully a song does not count as a verbal contract or my days are numbered. Um, I think of all the songs I've written about living people, I was most nervous about that guy hearing that one. Um, and it happened, so I guess I have nothing to be afraid of now. <laughs>